Welcome to the Comma Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about the New York Jets versus New England Patriots Week 17 matchup based on analytics. Each week, I like to collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there's always going to be some variation between various data points. However, there's always going to be little nuggets of truth that could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So... Starting with this matchup between the Jets and the Patriots. Uh, when you look at the NFL stat basic comparison data, and basic comparison data is what it means. It's the basics. It's uh, a general look at the offensive, defensive, and special teams data uh, in, in terms of projecting wins. And based on the overall data which is basically a combination of the special teams offense and defense data the Patriots are favored pretty heavily over the Jets as they were in the last meeting now there's a lot of reasons why first off offensively speaking the Patriots just have a far superior offense uh, very high marks in terms of turnover ratio meaning they don't turn the football over that much on offense uh, they have a better sack percentage. They don't allow as many sacks. And they also have a extremely impressive offensive score percentage. One of the best offensive score percentages since 1998. Meaning they're able to put points on the board with regularity. Which is a big, big, big aspect to winning football games. And not only that, but defensively speaking, uh, they have a very good defensive offensive score percentage. And a very good sack percentage and also a very good interception percentage. The only area where the Jets edge the Patriots out in, defensively speaking, is they have a slightly better overall turnover ratio. Uh, so the Patriots have a little bit better interceptions, whereas the Jets have a better sort of combination of interceptions and, and fumble recovery, etc. However, the Patriots do have the better defense uh, when it comes to defensive offense score percentage which is a very, very important aspect to things. Uh, the Patriots are better in that regard. Then, of course, you get to special teams data. Uh, special teams-wise, the Patriots pretty much dominate in almost every single aspect. Uh, the Patriots have better punt return yardage, better kick return yardage, uh, better defensive, and, uh, defensive punt return and defensive kick return yardage. Uh, the Patriots have better field goal percentage. Uh, the Jets have better extra point percentage and better punting average. Uh, so those are the two main areas where the Jets are better. However, who has the better special teams? The Patriots do. Main reason why is because the field goal percentage, by far the most important out of every single special team statistic here, the most important statistic in order, in order to win football games from a correlation standpoint is field goal percentage. It makes the most sense from a logical standpoint because uh, field goals oftentimes determine wins and losses. You know, at the end of a game, how often have you seen at the end of the game a field goal to win it, uh, a field goal to tie it, uh, you know, etc. So field goals are very, very important to winning football games. And the better you are in terms of your field goal percentage, the more likely you are to win football games on top of scoring points in general. And that's where the Patriots have the edge in terms of special teams. So overall, uh, the Patriots have the better offense, the Patriots have the better defense, and the Patriots have the better special teams. Now, when you get into some other sort of data points, so now we're getting into some uh, down and distance data, uh, situational football, as Bill Belichick likes to put it. Based on the Patriots' uh, offense versus Jets' defense when it comes to completion percentage, uh, the Jets actually are favored slightly uh, when it comes to this particular area, beating the Patriots on third down and edging them out slightly on second down. Um, so this is definitely a area where the Jets might have some success in terms of preventing completions. Uh, then of course you get to the Jets offense versus Patriots defense when it comes to completes percentage. And in this area the Jets offense is favorite on first and third down. 
um, with uh, the Patriots having a slight advantage on second down. So definitely more so favors the Jets here as well. So the Jets are, in terms of completion percentage at the very least, have a couple advantages on in terms of their offense and defense when it comes to those two areas. Then, of course, we get to rushing downs. Uh, this is first down conversion rate with the run. Uh, this doesn't really have anything to do with yardage uh, or any, anything like that. It mainly has to deal with the ability to create first downs with the run in various downs and distances. Uh, and in this particular area, the Jets defense is favored on first and third down. Um, so I think the Jets defense should have some success stopping the run uh, in terms of uh, the Patriots offense. Then, of course, we get to the Jets' offense versus Patriots' defense when it comes to rushing downs. And in this area, the Jets' offense is favored on first and third down. Um, so the Jets are favored with uh, in terms of the run uh, on offense and defense uh, when it comes to this particular matchup. Then we get to passing downs. Uh, this is the Patriots' offense in terms of passing downs versus the Jets' defense. And as you can clearly see, uh, despite some of the issues the Patriots have in terms of completion percentage in certain areas, uh, the Patriots pretty much are dominant on first, second, and third down when it comes to, to uh, um, you know, basically converting in, in all those areas. So, definitely favors the Patriots, especially here. Then, you get to the Jets offense versus Patriots defense when it comes to passing downs. Um, and in this area, I actually would say it's pretty evenly matched. Uh, when you're looking at third down, even. Um, second down slightly favors the Patriots, but definitely very even. And then first down um, is probably the biggest advantage for the Patriots defense, but it still is not really amazing either. Um, but I would say that this is a little bit more evenly matched between the Jets offense and the Patriots defense when it comes to passing downs. Then, of course, we get to sack rate uh, between the Patriots offense and the Jets defense. Uh, this particular area, the Patriots are favored on first and third down. So the Patriots should have um, some success kind of, you know, preventing sacks and doing those other sort of areas. Uh, then, of course, we get to sack rate for the Jets offense versus Patriots defense, uh, where the Jets are favored on first and third down. Uh, big down to watch, though, is second down. The majority of the sacks the Patriots have been able to create have come on second down, and the majority of the sacks that the Jets have given up have come on second down as well. Uh, in fact, the Jets are the worst offense in terms of giving up sacks on second down in the NFL currently. Um, so definitely that's the major down and distance to watch and see what happens. Then we get to interception rate uh, between the Patriots offense and the Jets defense. Uh, Patriots offense pretty much favored here in terms of first and second down. Pretty even on third down though, but definitely more so favors the Patriots here. Uh, and then finally, we get to the Jets offense versus Patriots defense when it comes to interception ratio, where the Jets uh, are pretty much edging out the Patriots defense, but it definitely is pretty close on first and uh, third down, but definitely the Jets do edge them out slightly um, in this particular area of data. So overall, general feelings about this game, uh, I think it's a Patriots victory. Uh, this, of course, is the last game of the year for the Patriots. And as a result, there's always going to be some funny business every year uh, where teams try to rest players and do different things here and there. So I'll, I'll be very interested in seeing um, what exactly happens here, uh, you know, when it comes to the overall data. However, uh, I do think that the Patriots get the victory here. Uh, the Jets are definitely a feisty team and they, they might have something up their sleeve. But I just think in general, when you look at the macro data and the micro data, it mostly favors the Patriots, so I just have to go Patriots here. But let me know in the comment section below, who do you believe is going to win this football game? Uh, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always notified when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.